It is with great pleasure that I introduce Dr. June Pim, recipient of a 2021 Carleton University Honorary Degree. Dr. Pim has had a distinguished career in developmental psychology. She's focused on helping children on the autism spectrum, as well as their parents and educators. She earned the first PhD in arts granted by Carleton in 1968. She went on to have not one, but two notable careers. She served as a professor of pediatrics at the Miami School of Medicine, and upon retirement, joined the Ottawa Carleton District School Board as a psychologist. While there, she created the first school-based class for emotionally challenged students. In 2008, Dr. Pym became the coordinator of the Autism Initiative for the Ottawa Carleton District School Board, supervising the autism spectrum team and conducting research on more than 700 children with autism spectrum disorder. She continues to work on the Provincial Autism Initiative for the school board. She's also adjunct professor here at Carleton, where she teaches in the Department of Psychology. Congratulations to Dr. Pym from all of us at Carleton University. Madam Chancellor, Mr. President, Chair of the Board of Governors, graduates and honored guests. I accept this honorary doctorate from Carleton University with gratitude. As the first student to graduate in my field with a doctorate in arts, I have retained a personal connection with this university for many years. And today, we'll take a few moments to share my experience with you. I learned from a wonderful group of professors and cannot thank them all today. But I will give special thanks to Professor Nan Donald for helping me learn how to set up my first research project, enabling me to document one of my successful new insights in child development. Professor Peter McCormick, who taught me that I did not need to be good at arithmetic to conquer statistics. Professor Robert Wake for teaching me the importance of the history of psychology. Professor Tom Ryan, who made my success in achieving a doctorate happen. And, and professors Ann Falker and Robert Copeland for their long support of me and their friendship. I'm gonna start in the 1940s. Carleton was not yet a university. Carleton was an evening college serving World War II veterans returning home from the war. My husband of 73 years who is here with me today was a Navy veteran who served in the North Atlantic convoys. He attended Carleton College classes for veterans who intended to apply to Canadian universities. With the support of this college, he was able to enroll at McGill University where we met as undergraduates. I received a master's degree in child psychology from McGill, then returned to Ottawa where I taught at Carleton, which was now chartered as a university. I also continued to teach part-time at Carleton while working as a psychologist for the Ottawa School Board. Now, when Carleton offered a doctoral degree in psychology, I made one of the best decisions of my life. I gave up my beautiful Carleton office with this beautiful view and became a student again. But this time, I went where the students lived, which was the basement. Are you supposed to learn? This experience as a Carleton graduate student changed my life. Looking back, I'm amazed how the university encourages students to engage in partnership with the community at large. This combination of academic and practical experience was transformational for me. Carleton's approach had made it possible for me to engage in external projects while at the same time learning from my professors such as spending my Christmas vacation doing a study in Easter Island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean and then reporting my results to, to Carleton on return. After graduation, I was anxious to share with the general public what I had learned about the newest knowledge in child development. In order to do this, I approached the Vanier Institute of the Family and the Canadian Department of National Health and Welfare for support. My role was to write a script based on recent research findings 
in a form that the average family could understand. To do that, I decided to present the material as an animated film. So under the supervision of Carleton's psychology department, the animation was created by Crawley Films and distributed by the National Film Board of Canada. Financial support was provided by the Vanier Institute and the Pickering Institute at Carleton. The Canadian Department of National Health and Welfare placed the film in clinics across Canada where pregnant women and new mothers were learning about child care strategies. And remarkably, the film won the award for the best training and instructional film at the 24th Canadian Film Awards. Currently, the Ottawa Carleton District School Board and Carleton work together to provide psychology students an opportunity to spend time in specialized classrooms for children with developmental difficulties. Many of the Carleton students have benefited from this practical experience in the community, and several have continued on to careers as educational psychologists. So as my story shows, Carlton's support for external projects within our community played a significant role in me continuing to be the enthusiastic psychologist I am today. The strong foundation I gained from Carlton made it possible for me to work and conduct research in many diverse areas. Some are as discovering that the level of moral development in a juvenile delinquent foresaw his likelihood to reoffend. Studying the effect of maternal cocaine use on the long-term development of the baby. The importance of pre-surgical depression in patients' recovery from cardiac surgery. And currently the mystery of autism, where I support educators and parents of children with the diagnosis. Now, some of these projects do not appear related to my degree as a developmental psychologist. So my message to you is my recognition that without the confidence and skills I acquired from Carleton, none of these would have been possible. For those of you who graduate today, I encourage you to build on your extraordinary university experiences. I am hopeful that you will truly commit yourself to lifelong learning, for you will be repaid with a lifetime of exhilaration at what you discover. I'm also hopeful you will be guided by the evidence, wherever it takes you, but that you will also exercise the wisdom to evaluate this evidence within the greater context and the mystery of humanity. Best wishes to all of you.